everyone it's crystal with stitching crystal welcome back if you're a return viewer um, if you're new welcome to my channel um, if you can before we get started on everything please subscribe or like my video it goes a long way to helping me out so thank you um, so I realized today that it had been about two weeks actually since I had last uploaded um, I apologize about that I'm trying to do it about every week maybe not on the same exact day but about a week um and i'm so sorry about that uh i did not realize i thought it was a week and a couple of days i didn't realize it had been two weeks so um i was on vacation last week which is part of the reason why it's it you know it got delayed uh i don't know why but time seems to move faster when you have the option of doing whatever you want to do with your free time versus you know, or having free time versus working. So I'm um, sorry about that. Um, I do have an update that recently happened to me. I sprained my wrist. Yes, I did. Um, and my ankle. Um, it was my last day. Nobody's going to believe it, but it was my last day of vacation. I was walking across the yard and I just twisted my ankle and fell and I guess I tried to catch myself and so I hurt my wrist uh, which not really helps with stitching at all because it's hard to you know do anything when your wrist is you know I had a cast like a not a full cast but just a support plaster cast and so you can't do anything with that um, so yeah it's been it's been a little crazy lately um, I am very excited to show you my progress that I made. I even took it out. Oh, no peep shows. Uh, I even took it out of the frame um, so that I could show you. Which on this one, because it is so close to the edge, because I was trying to make the existing fabric I had work, I've never been this close to the edge before. Um, it just it makes it really difficult. I don't know that I would do it again. Um, but because it's so close to the edge, it makes it... I tend to not want to take it out of the key snap that I use because it's a pain to get it perfectly just right so that it's far enough away that I can, you know, stitch into it, but not so close. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. So we have, I know I'm a monogamous stitcher here again. I'm working on still life still, still life still, um, because we are so close. And I've made so much progress going down it. Here, I'll show you. I've made so much progress going down it. I think I'm on this edge. That um, last time I think I was at the halfway mark. For those of you, sorry about my watch or my, yeah. For those of you who saw my little short, we finished page two. Super excited. And I'm going to reveal. So we're working down here. I'm super excited. Aww. Looks like just a lot of blue. You would not believe all the different shades in there. Um, but I mean, I love the stars. Those, those are all filled in. I think everything on here is filled in all the way until it, you know, you can see this part right here. But... We are halfway through page three, and the way it goes is it has full pages, and then it has like, I think it's two thirds or half of a page, maybe even less, of page four going down because it's really, it's way more wide than it is uh, tall. So we are getting there. That's why there's so much room on the top of here because I did not need all of this fabric. I'm just kind of making it work. But yeah, look at that. Very exciting. It's getting a lot paler using different colors than we're up here. And I literally am for this this mountain part right here that comes up. I'm I think one row from starting it. So I was really, really trying. I would have loved to finish page three too. That would have been really cool, but I was really looking forward to getting this part done so that I could, I think it's all my part threads that are a mess right now. Um, I think it's right above or right below these parts right here and kind of goes up. So I was really, 
excited about <laughs> not cross stitching blue anymore. Even though it's fun and I'm really enjoying myself with this piece, I was really looking forward to some of the browns and the greens that are going to be in that land. So, oh, we're so close. But we are, we ended last time at 5.16% with uh, just over 13,000 stitches. Um, and this time we're at 7.47%, which that's two and a quarter percent in two weeks that's incredible for me typically i do about half a half a percent it's a point five percent uh every week that i do this so for me to get over two percent in two weeks that's amazing big part of it was i was on vacation so i had more time i had more ability um, a lot of this part here, um, there were multiple colors in here. I mean, it's hard to tell on camera, you can't really see. Um, but a lot of it uh, was starting to get to be one color, so that really made the stitching go faster, which also helped with that and the percentage. So last week we were at, or last time we were at 13,000, a little over 13,000 stitches. This time we're over 19,000 stitches which I'm very proud of. I think that's very awesome. We're almost at 20,000 stitches. And I started this, I wanna say the beginning of May. So May, June, and July, and we're not even finished with July, you know? And I've done almost 20,000 stitches. I'm almost, I'm seven and a half percent pretty much. I mean, three months and seven and a half percent, that's pretty fast, especially for these, uh, heaven and earth designs, you know, they, they take years. Um, so it really makes me feel good. Um, I do think once we get all the way down to the bottom that we're just going to keep moving. I don't know if we're going to do all of the top row or bottom row of one and then park so that I can just kind of move forward. I haven't really figured that out yet. I've really just been focusing on getting this first row of first pages done but for two reasons because it'll be nice to have this section of the fabric done but also because nobody wants to stitch with a hue snap that close to the edge of the fabric if i was really smart and i put some thought into it i could always have taken other fabric and sewn it on here loosely and then just use that other fabric for the cue snap but i am stubborn okay I am just the most stubborn person in the entire world and I definitely feel like I just have to do it a certain way and so apparently this is one of those times where I feel like I have to do it a certain way and struggle. One of these days I'll learn. So, and that may change. I may uh, end up uh, sewing, but I am so close to being done at this point. I think I'm about a page completed or a page two complete on this. And the first page I want to say was this much so I've got like literally like this much more and it's complete so it feels kind of ridiculous to get cloth and add it on now I don't know we'll see but yeah that is the update um, the thing that I found out uh, doing this recently I got some more floss for this because I was missing like just stray colors that were like confetti throughout um, for like the stars and stuff um, so I ended up getting more floss for that and my floss stash I'm gonna get it out I'm gonna so this is every single and it's such a mess right now uh, this is every single color that I need well this is, okay, so these are the ones that I bought that I didn't already have. That's the better way of putting it. Or that I have multiple and I'm constantly using it. As you can see, it's mostly blue. There is some brown in there. Um, I just, I'm working on it not. Um, and I am more new to kind of the floss drop or, you know, way of doing things like this some cons I've realized lately just so if you're thinking about going this direction is that the, the it does I travel with mine so mine goes in a bag and it goes with me so it's moved it's 
you know, put together like this. You know, a lot of people who do this have a stationary place next to where they sit where everything is lined up and it stays there. And so they don't really deal with tangles. I know taking this with me places, it moves around and stuff. So I do get tangles, but even with that not being untangled before, you can see it's really, it's not terribly bad, terribly bad. It doesn't take long to untangle it. Um, so I don't have a problem with that. My problem is, is when you get to the end of a skein. So for example, like this is a good one. I'm having trouble with this one. 158, this is one that I use commonly right now. And I am getting really close and it's a mess. So maybe we'll do another one. We'll do 311. So I'm getting really close to on some of these where I'm, because I will take one skein and I will divide it by four and cut it. And then I will take that and I will make a loop. I found if you make one huge loop of different skeins, it actually creates issues and creates, you know, uh, when you're pulling it knots and all of that stuff. So I do it and I, I make individual loops for each skein. I would do that if I were you. Um, I found when you get too close to the end of one and there's only a couple of uh, skeins left for the entire, or a couple of threads left for the entire skein, so you're like down to two, three, they really kind of um, knot up because there just isn't as much to keep it in line, so to speak. So when you're pulling it, you're more, they they ball up more because they've got more room to do it. They just want to knot more. So that is a con of it um, that I have realized. Um, not a big fan of it. But ultimately, like the amount of time and stuff that I save on getting a bag, finding the right bag, opening the bag, cutting out the piece, and then cutting out this, the, the floss to the right size and then grabbing a piece or finding the existing floss that's pre-cut and pulling out a piece and doing that and then threading it. A lot of the time that I would spend on that is, is way late on all of this because literally I just find it, I pick one, I pull it, I've got the thread, I'm done. Versus finding the bag, opening the bag, getting the piece out, possibly cutting the floss to make it the right size for me to do it. Then I got varying lengths of floss that aren't uniform and I'm having it. So this is the way to do it, I feel. But that is it. Um, lots of progress this week or this, this time. I shouldn't say week. I feel so bad. Um, lots of progress. I'm very excited about that. I am going to play it by hand and just see how this goes. See um, if I can cross, cross stitch. It's the twisting kind of motion outside of the brace or even kind of sometimes with the brace that I feel a twinge with on this. So I'm going to have to see how that kind of plays. I just got this today. So we'll see how that goes. And I hope you all enjoyed your fourth. Um, hopefully you were with friends, family, you did something to celebrate. Um, if you're in the United States, if you're not, just ignore me. Uh, <laughs> and I hope that uh, you all have a good one until then. If you're in a hot area, stay cool. And if you're in a cool area, stay warm. And I will talk to you next time. Take care.